tell me a bit about your relationship with Imam Ali. What does Imam Ali mean to you? <coughs> Imam Ali is not just an Imam. He's a succeed of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and I see him he's like a dad. You just don't see him as an Imam from <coughs> the love that the Imam loves you for the sacrifice that he sacrificed for us and <coughs> the it's just the love that Imam Ali has for us it's unbelievable so now I want you to imagine that you're having suhoor with Imam Ali it's the 19th of Ramadan just before Fajr you're eating suhoor with him Remember, he had bread and some salt. That's all he had to eat. He tells you that he will be struck on the head by Ibn Muljim. How does that make you feel? Heartbroken. It's like giving you <coughs> news saying that your father is going to die. Because Imam Ali, that's like, like I mentioned before, not just the Imam. It's the, that the love that the sacrifices that Imam has done for us they understand he's going to tell you that he's going to die later on in a few minutes that's going to get struck on his head while praying it's just like a heartbreaking moment thinking that your Imam your dad is going to die imagine what you would go through if you knew your dad was going to die, going to die. that's how difficult it was if I was going to, if I was going to be in that place or situation Now think about this, imagine now you've just had that talk with Imam Ali, he's going to renew his wudu, you accompany him towards Masjid al-Kufa, you go to Masjid al-Kufa, you line up to pray, you pray in Salah and you see Ibn Muljim get up and he strikes the Imam on his head. What's, what would the first thing you do to respond? Of course, I would straight away go and check upon Imam Ali, see if he's still alright, if anything has happened to him, because he just struck him on his head with a poison sword. So I would first go and double check on the Imam, see if he's still alive, if he still can finish off his prayer, because his importance is to finish off the prayer, it's not just, I'm going to die. And the Imam is not scared of death. The Imam, the most important thing is to finish off his prayer. So I'll make sure that he's still in a, like in a situation where he's still good enough to finish his prayer. But obviously he's going to be in a bad situation. And I just want to check up on the Imam, see if he's alright. Then try to hold on to Ibn Muljim. Understand why he did this to him. Because Ibn Muljim, because <coughs> Imam Ali raised up Ibn Muljim. I'll tell him why did you do this. Of course, it's not just about hitting the Muljim and everything. It's use the akhlaq of Ahlul Bayt and ask him, why? Why did you hit it? Imam Ali? Imam Ali was like a dad to him. He raised him up from as a baby until he became a big man. He taught him the, um, the deen, the religion of Islam, the path of Ahlul Bayt. And at the end, he hits him, he kills him with a sword. He struck his head with a sword. It's just painful. I would ask him, why would you do such a thing? What made you do such a thing? Now, Imam Ali is taken home and you know, he spends a day trying to recover. Now imagine that you're beside Imam Ali in his final moments. What would you say to him? Or what would you ask him if you could say anything to him? I would probably ask the Imam. How, how does he, what does he want us to do after him? Because he says, Ask me before I, before I go. There's lots of questions that people don't ask him. You could have asked him, what, what can we do to succeed after you? What can we do to go to Jannah? What can we do to please you, to please Allah? To please the Im after you? People never asked him. People would ask silly questions of, how many heads have I got on my head? Really silly questions when you have, you have a gem like Imam Ali Asalam with knowledge and he has all type of knowledge, any knowledge, any question you ask him would answer you. 
So I would ask him what he wants us to do after his death, after his martyrdom, what he wants us to do, succeed in life and go to Jannah. And I would tell my final farewells to him. <coughs> Finally, we were now face to face with Imam al Zaman, may Allah hasten his reappearance. You are having a conversation with Imam al Zaman, and he asks you, How do you show your love for Imam Ali through your actions? What would you say in response? I would tell him by looking at the akhlaq of Ahlul Bayt and the akhlaq of Imam Ali what he did to people, towards people you see Imam Ali his akhlaq is not just for example you walk on the street someone might swear at you the reaction is not to go and hit him swear back and fight use the akhlaq of Imam Ali use the akhlaq of Ahlul Bayt to show him who you are to show him who you follow Show him who your leader is, successor. When, for example, someone swears at you, and don't reply to him, like, thank you very much. But why did you say that, brother? He sees that your akhlaq, your behavior is really nice. You are, you'll be surprised, like, I just cussed you, I just swore at you, or I tried attacking you. You have no reaction, you're thanking me. Why is that? You tell him, I have an Imam, Imam Ali, he taught us this and that. He taught us not to go through violence, to do everything right by speaking and sorting out everything so you're saying peacefully by implementing the akhlaq, akhlaq of imam ali, of imam ali, ali Bayt, that's how you show, show your people, love for imam ali by yeah because Im imam ali just doesn't want you to okay i love imam ali and i do everything you, you love imam ali you have to implement the akhlaq of imam ali show the correct image of imam ali and the hilbait to the people look i follow imam ali this is imam ali so the people know who your followers you know who <coughs> You know who you're following, sorry. They know who your Imam is, and possibly they could convert. They say, Well, look, this is the Imam, and this is the khlaq that he has. It's beautiful khlaq, it's beautiful marriage. So they probably might want to switch to the religion of Islam because of the khlaq of Ahlul Bayt and Imam Ali Asa. <laughs> الا چرا ز خدای خدا کند که بیای خدا کند سنور Oh, God.